Syed Hassan Imam, the 31st of August 1871 to the 19th of April 1933, was an Indian politician who served as the president of the Indian National Congress. He was the fourth Muslim after Badruddin Tayabji, Rahimtullah M Sayani, and Nawab Syed Muhammad Bahadur to become the president of Indian National Congress. One of his ancestors was the private tutor to Aurangzeb. Hassan Imam's father was a professor of history at Patna College. By his first wife, he had a son Syed Medhi Imam, educated at Harrow and Oxford University, a barrister of the Supreme Court of India and scholar of Latin and Greek. Hassan Imam also married an Indo-French lady, and Bulu Imam the human rights campaigner, and wildlife expert as their grandson. Regarded as one of India's finest barristers, some barristers such as Chittaranjan Das, C.R. Das and H.D. Bose considered Hassan as the best barrister in British India. He is related to many other barristers besides those within his own immediate family including Sir Sultan Ahmed and Syed Abdal Aziz. Hassan Imam's Cambridge University educated nephew Syed Jafar Imam was also his son-in-law and later become a Supreme Court judge. <laughs> Law and political career Hassan Imam, son of L. M. Dad Imam, and younger brother of Sir Ali Imam, was born at Neora, district Patna, on 31 August 1871. A Shia Muslim by faith, he belonged to a distinguished, educated landed family. After a course of schooling, interrupted frequently by ill health, he left for England in July 1889 and joined the Middle Temple. While there he campaigned actively for Dadabai Naoroji during the general election of England in 1891. He was called to the bar in 1892, he returned home the same year and started practice in the Calcutta High Court. Hassan Imam was a judge of the Calcutta High Court. On the establishment of the Patna High Court in March 1916, Imam resigned the judgeship of the Calcutta High Court and started practice at Patna. In 1921 he was nominated a member of the Bihar and Orissa Legislative Council. From 1908 onwards he took part in political affairs. In October 1909 he was elected president of the Bihar Congress Committee and in the next month he presided over the fourth session of the Bihar Students' Conference. He resumed political activity on a larger scale after resigning the judgeship in 1916. Hassan Imam was one of the prominent Indian leaders who called upon Montague, the Secretary of State for India, in November 1917 and was listed by him among the real giants of the Indian political world. He presided over the special session of the Indian National Congress held at Bombay, 1918, to consider the Montague Kelmsford Reform Scheme. It was an important, but difficult, session to handle because opinion was sharply divided on the merits of the scheme. Hassan Imam played a moderating role. A staunch constitutionalist he was opposed to the ideology of the non-cooperation movement. Hassan Imam took a leading part in the Khilafat movement. He joined the civil disobedience movement in 1930 and was elected secretary of the Swadeshi League formed in Patna. He actively campaigned for the boycott of foreign goods and use of Qadar. Earlier in 1927, he materially conduced to the success of the boycott of the Simon Commission in Bihar. Hassan Imam was a strong advocate of social reforms, particularly the amelioration of the position of women and the depressed classes. As a member of the Takari Board of Trustees, he promoted schemes for girls' education. He exposed the economic exploitation of the country, both under the company and the imperial rule. He was president of the Board of Trustees of the Bihari, the leading English daily of Bihar. He was also one of the founders of the succeeding Searchlight. <laughs> Death He died on 19 April 1933 and lies buried at Hapala, Shahabad district. 